life that music was more than just playing. It could actually help people and be a healing. Very early on, Tommy James and the Shondells get credit for that, along with Tommy Rowe. I'm an older gentleman, so I actually remember those records. And uh, yeah, it's it's all about pop and feeling great for me. It has been since I was eight years old. What are your greatest memories of the 70s? It was such a great era for music. So many of the enduring bands and albums that influence and still being played the most today, acts still out there. What, what, was, what was so great about the music from the 70s? Well, the quality and the diversity. I mean, there were so many different kinds of music going on even back then, and all of them had their own special quality. And I know that there's a lot of diversity in music now, and certainly there's a lot of quality now, but back then it, it was new. Things were new back then. Yeah. yeah, and you didn't hear bands like Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. You didn't hear bands like uh, Skinner, you know? I mean, they hadn't existed before. They created something new, and that's harder and harder to do now. I know it's happening somewhere, but, uh, you know, it was all fresh back then. For all that you've seen, what advice do you give to those young musicians or young creative people that want to do something? What do they need to concentrate on to have a shot at being a unique person? Well, what, what I worked on didn't come from outside, outside musical influences. Listen to musical influences. Don't watch TV. Don't watch contests. Don't go for talent shows. Listen to the musicians that really pique your interest and really wake up something visceral in you.